ASU softball wrapped up the Kajikawa Classic over the weekend, winning three of the five matchups, including an upset victory over number 20 Duke. The tournament is one of the most prestigious in the country and is named after a member of the ASU Hall of Fame. Cronkite News reporter Hayden Weber tells the story of the man they called Mr. Sun Devil. The Kajikawa Classic is a staple of college softball, which is held at Farrington Stadium at the beginning of every season. Arizona State welcomes teams from all over the country to play in the tournament, which honors a man who gave everything to his institution. Bill Kajikawa is the definition of an ASU lifer. He coached so many sports. He was an advocate in the community, somebody that, you know, bled, sun devil, you know, maroon and gold. And so for us, it, it's just kind of an honor to be able to kind of continue that tradition. Kajikawa joined the football program as an assistant after his playing career ended in 1937 and remained with the team well into the 70s. He also served as head coach of the baseball and basketball teams from 1946 to 1957, making him the lone Japanese-American head coach in collegiate sports at the time. Even after his coaching days, his presence in the athletic department could still be felt. And he just had a great sense about him and people just loved him. I mean, uh, and that's why he's in our Hall of Fame. That's why we've got the football practice fields named after him. While Coach Kajikawa is remembered as an icon within Sun Devil Athletics, one of his crowning achievements was being part of a very special military unit during World War II. He became part of that unit, which is called the 442nd. The 442nd Regimental Team is the most decorated regiment in the Army history. After serving alongside a historic unit in Europe, Kajikawa returned home to coach his beloved Sun Devils. In Phoenix, Hayden Weber, Cronkite News. The Phoenix Suns take on the Los Angeles Clippers tonight at Footprint Center. They currently hold the best record in the NBA. Part of their success could be attributed to the trust that the head coach, Monty Williams, has in his players, especially in the conversation he has with veteran point guard Chris Paul. He'll come to me with something, I'm like, run with it, you know, that kind of thing. Because uh, I always feel like when players come to you with something, they've, they've thought through it. I'm like, go ahead, take ownership of it. And I just tell them to do it, you know, that kind of thing. So conversations are really cool, but there's a lot that we talk about. That's it for today's Cronkite Sports Report. Back to you, Reyna.